Hey guys, today I want to speak to you about uh, the second stage on the Golf Mark 1 carburetor, that is the KNKS2. Now a lot of people ask a lot of questions about the second stage of this carburetor. A lot don't understand how it works and a lot actually don't know how to determine if it's working or not. So in this video I'm going to try and show you in simple terms how it actually work. Okay, so firstly, what is the second stage and what does it actually do on your carburetor? The second stage is a function on the carburetor which kicks in when you're accelerating, driving on the road, and you accelerating a between two and three thousand RPM, then the second stage kicks in. The exact RPM I'm not exactly sure about so don't hold me to it. I'm just going on Experience with my Golf Mark 1 and this second stage gives you an actual power boost as you reach that um, certain RPM and the Vacuum kicks in and it opens up the butterfly. So it gives you a little boost as you sort of going through your gears the second stage operates by means of a vacuum now this is the actual component where a diaphragm sits in and on the same component sits a short little pipe which is connected to the carb. It's connected to a port that sucks air. When I say sucks air I mean engine vacuum sucking on the diaphragm and that in turn will pull on the lever that is on the inside of this component over here it pulls and that pulls your second stage butterfly open now you may want to know if your second stage is actually working or not which is basically this little lever here which goes in and out as the engine vacuum pulls on the diaphragm so there is a way to find out I will show you now Okay, so to test your vacuum uh, advance, the diaphragm inside, you're going to pull off this one here, the existing one. And for the test, we're going to put on a longer one. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to suck on this side. And when I suck on this side, we will see if the lever is actually moving. And that actually activates the butterfly in the carburetor which means it's swinging open. So as I'm going to suck on this pipe, this lever here will have to move. If it doesn't move, then your diaphragm is faulty. So I'm going to suck on the right now. Watch closely. And they have released. So that means it's working perfectly. So if this does not move, then your diaphragm inside here must be faulty. It's either perished or it has holes or tears in it. So this can be removed quite easily. It's just two bolts comes off here and it unhinges by this um, lever further down. The really obvious thing to check is this actual short pipe here. Take this pipe off and check if there's no tears or holes in it because if there's a rupture or tear in here you're also going to have a case of um, no vacuum and just to give you a shot of the butterfly that actually moves when the vacuum comes into play and the diaphragm this is what actually happens inside you can actually see the vacuum moving like that so do a check also on the actual a butterfly if it's not sticky or anything spray some cob cleaner down here so there you go there you have an idea as to what the second stage is and if yours is in fact in need of repair or replacement um, as I said it's just this unit that comes off here and has a diaphragm in here um, not sure if these are sold separately at, at spare shop as there isn't a diaphragm in here which can be I would say repaired and also remember your second stage can also be affected by a leak in your carb base plate you know 
and also your servo pipe and also your brake booster so ensure that all those things are always 100% um, you know because all these things affect uh, performance on the Golf Mark 1 thanks a lot for watching guys Thank you.